Pope Francis is questioning Donald Trump's Christianity. The Pope was speaking with reporters after finishing his trip to Mexico last week when he was asked about Trump's promise to build a wall along the border between the U.S. and Mexico. The Pope said he was not entirely familiar with the proposal, but he commented on it anyway, and that drew a sharp response from Trump. For a religious leader to question a person's faith is disgraceful. I'm proud to be a Christian, and as president, I will not allow Christianity to be consistently attacked and weakened, unlike what is happening now with our current president. Trump later softened his remarks, implying that Mexican officials had influenced oh, the Pope to make the comments he did. He also said he did not believe the Pope understood how illegal immigration poses a threat to the United States. Now the Pope's people say the not Christian thing was not a personal attack on Trump, nor was it an indication on how to vote in the U.S. election. The Pope versus the Donald. That's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you. Weigh in on our Fox 26 Facebook page. You can also join in on Twitter. Use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our panel led by our senior legal analyst Chris Tritico, our news analyst Mustafa Tamiz, who's often involved with strategizing for Democratic candidates, and public policy analyst Jackie Bally, who's often involved with strategizing for the Republicans. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so a lot of times we see uh, that that it's, it's abortion that, that is played into policies and faith, but in this case, it's immigration where the faith was questioned. Do you think that that helped or hurt Donald? He obviously won big last night. Well, it, it, this is not the first time a pope has weighed in on American politics, but it's really one of the first times that an American uh, candidate has uh, rebuked a pope so strongly as Donald Trump did, but Donald Trump doesn't pay by, play by any rules of American politics that we've seen so far. Uh, will it help him? I don't know. I don't think it had any impact in South Carolina at all. And, and, and moving forward, I think it'll be a blip on the road, and so I don't think it has that big an impact. But what it does show and what people need to pay attention to is, is, is what does this say about Donald Trump? I don't think it has anything to say about the Pope. But what does it say about Donald Trump, Jackie Bell? You work for Ted Cruz, and so uh, you're coming at this from a little bit diff different perspective. But what does it say about Donald Trump that he would he would come out so strongly against the Pope when con conventional wisdom says you don't want to hack off 1.2 billion Catholics when you're running for the presidency? Well, clearly in uh, South Carolina, he didn't hack off many inv evangelicals because they came out and voted for him very heavily. So uh, Much what, to it, Ted what, it says, what it says about Donald Trump is that uh, he is very consistent with his message. It's all it's been about immigration, immigration, immigration. And the fact that the pope is now jumping in on this, like we discussed last week, it's his right to freedom of speech. But uh, I personally don't want my minister or pastor to pass judgment on other people based on poli political decisions and policy decisions. It's his right to do so. He did it. Evangelicals ignored it. And I think to answer Sally's question directly, it will have very little impact on t on Donald Trump as he moves forward, especially with evangelicals. They they that? clearly voted last night for him. I mean, I think I Donald Trump showed that he really doesn't care what anybody thinks, and he doesn't care about traditional uh, 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 politics and rules for po politicians. I, you know, I, if you just take the, the political aspects out of this, it, it just shows you the temperament of Donald Trump, that his first instinct is, is if somebody even looks the wrong way towards him, that he'll jump all over them. I mean, is that the kind of person you want to have, you know, on the, uh, you know, on the, on the button of nuclear weapons, that if you even looked at, I'm just going to come after you? This is just not presidential, uh, and it's not really American. Well, I, w I will say this. I, I'm usually not one to defend Donald Trump. I will say this. His re second response was very much on point. He softened his tone. He brought it back to policy, which was immigration policy. And I thought he did that very well. Also, if, if, someone, if someone attacks me and calls me and, and says that I'm not a Christian, I, my faith, I'm, I'm very strong in my faith. So if someone were to say that to me, you better believe I'm going to come out swinging. But, but if you're running for president, you would have had, uh, hopefully had the measured response as your first response, wouldn't you? Well, I think Donald Trump is a lot like you saw Hillary Clinton, uh, the way she's attacking Bernie Sanders. When you have the spotlight on you all the time, there are times when you're not going to be, as he says, presidential. At least Donald Trump doesn't is, have the feds after him. Didn't Donald Trump, we, we got to go to Sally, but I don't get this, this one question out. Didn't Donald Trump, even though I didn't, I, I didn't agree with his response, but didn't he have a point that the leader of the Catholic Church shouldn't be calling anyone unchristian? 
Well, I mean, he, he, he was very specific about somebody who wants to divide people. He was talking about, you know, the, the tone that Donald Trump has taken. And, and, and yes, I understand that <coughs> Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders are going after each other, but that's the pulp. And the kind of language he used to lash out at him is just, it's not just unpresidential, it's un-American. Well, this the Pope, is not the, the Pope right came after of him. Attitude. He's defending well, he was answering come question. after him. He's answering the, the question. Thing. Well, the Pope <laughs> made specific in, uh, references and in inferences that he was not a Christian. Well, he, so the Pope got involved in this political campaign by state, right, stating that. Let me go to, me go to Sally. Statement. She's monitoring our social media. Okay, let's take a look at Twitter and see what some folks out there are saying. You can weigh in on the conversation too. Just use the hashtag Fox26 for life. Matty Gregg says, I try to ignore Trump because I don't really agree with him, but now he's basically attacking the Pope. I'm livid and irate. Lloyd <laughs> Groleman says, I'm no supporter of Trump, but one thing I do agree with him on, he should stay way out of American politics, the Pope that is. It is not his business. And for Nari Sense says, I want if the Pope thinks Christian Americans who agree with tr Donald Trump's immigration policy are Christian. Of course, there are a lot of people who agree with Trump's immigration policy. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. All right, we got to wrap. So final thoughts real quick. Yeah, okay. again, immigration is the key, the, the, what brought Donald Trump to the forefront. A majority of Democrats and Republicans have been polled to they, that they don't agree with the current immigration policies and that's why he continues to surge and the fact that this has been brought into the religious from a religious leader um, I think is only going to help Donald Trump real quick Th this is uh, Donald Trump is not just redefining political campaigns he's trying to redefine what it means to be an American and this is wrong